How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for the 14th episode of Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, El Matadero, or I don't know if I'm saying that right, The Slaughterhouse, it translates to that in English. Uh, wow, another great episode. Wow, 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 wow. So, now we have three fantastic episodes in a row. Um, <sighs> crazy stuff, man. So, major spoilers... If you have not seen this episode yet, leave the video if you have not seen this episode. Major spoilers. So, wow. Looks like they are following a similar formula to what they do in Walking Dead with uh, episode 14. They uh, kill someone off. And to address the elephant in the room once more, the person who was killed off in this episode was Ophelia. Uh, a season one character that we've known for a while and have grown to love and appreciate as a character. She uh, met her demise tonight. So really sad, especially really emotional with she. Ah, oh, God, she was right. She was so close to seeing Daniel again and then she just died. So close, you know, just she didn't even get to see her dad one more time. That's just. Screwed up. Screwed up. And it didn't even phase me at first. I was like, oh, she's bit, but she's not, you know, she's not going to see her dad. That sucks. But it didn't even phase me. Uh, they're going to kill her off. Ophelia, a season one character that we've known for a while. Uh, so, well, three seasons worth. Uh, so, yeah, that was really sad. You know, they were trying to get her all the medication she needed but so she could meet Daniel. Uh, so they could have that one last reunion together, but sadly, it did not work. Uh, so that's sad. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's... Oh, well, I don't know how Daniel feels about it. He's going to be pretty broken now that he doesn't have any of his family left. Uh, he still has a friend, and... Uh, what's her name? Gloria? Is that her name? I don't know if it is. But uh, the people at the dam, and she, he has Madison, so he's going to have to find a new purpose to live, a new reason to live. He didn't really have a reason to live, but then he found a frame, and that kind of contributed to him wanting to live. And this is just going to pound him into the ground and make him a bit more hardened. Yeah, he was hardened before, being in wars and stuff, but this is just going to make him uh, a lot more uh, broken down inside and eternally. Also, Nick and uh, Troy getting high, I guess, tripped out on some uh, brain stem, some drugs. Nick's getting back into the drugs. Oh, no. Ah, oh, silly Nick. Silly, silly Nick. Uh, but, yeah, that sucks. Uh, then we had, a, uh, not Ophelia, Alicia meet Diana, that woman uh, that she ran into at the... Uh, uh, what was it, a fast food restaurant, yeah, and she met her, and, uh, she's on her own now, Nick and Troy are gonna stay at the stadium, uh, El Bazaar place type thing, so, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're, she's gonna be on his own, Nick and Troy, Madison's gotta be really sad, that's gotta be tough on Madison, uh, but yeah, Anyway, really, really good episode. Another episode that was just amazing. So, I gotta give it, you know what, 9 out of 10. It's hard to give it 10 out of 10, but I'll give it a 9 out of 10. So, anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below of this episode. Uh, did you enjoy it? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you did, because I thought this episode was fantastic. Uh, and, yeah, next week is the finale. Stay tuned for the predictions. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. See you in the next one. Peace. Boop.